Hello, I am Mrs. Brooks, and I'm going to teach you today how to set up your Weebly for Education blog for your writing assignment. Once your teacher has given you your username and password, you're going to go to students.weebly.com to enter in your username and your password. Once you've typed it in, click enter. And it should bring you to a site that says choose your website domain. If this dialog box right here pops up, click on the X to close it. Your website domain is the web address that people will use to access your blog to read your blog and to leave a comment on it. So you want something where your audience will be able to remember the website address or maybe even related to your title of your blog. So for instance, I'm going to try um, students memoirs. The check over here lets me know that it's available and I'm going to click continue. This dialog box is going to pop up. You're going to come down here to the right and click on the X to remove it. Now that I have, we're in the editing screen, we're going to change my site. Click on my site and you should get a blinking cursor. We're going to delete the words my site and you're going to add the title of your blog. So for instance, mine will be middle school memoirs. Now that I have done that, I want to change the, the picture background right here. So if you click inside the picture, it has a little blue outline. It's going to ask you to edit the background. So I want some pictures. So I'm going to go to pixel, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com to be able to access free photos where I don't have to worry about copywriting or infringement rights. So since my blog is about stories, um, also I'm an English teacher, I want to look up books. Once I type in books, as you see, they have over 1.78 thousand pictures related to my search books. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find a picture that I think represents me and that I want to use on my blog. So I see one, so I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna come over here to free download. I'm going to download it to my desktop, click the save button. And as you see, it's downloaded to my laptop. So I'm gonna click this, click on the X, and I'm going to go back to my Weebly site. So now that I have my picture downloaded on my desktop, I'm going to click on Again, click on the inside of the picture, click on edit background, go to image, click add image, go over here to the left and click upload image. And right here where my picture downloaded, I'm going to click and drag it to the upload and photo from your computer box. And as you see in the right, it's uploading my picture. And there you go. So again, I have my title and I have a picture that represents me, represents my personality. So now I'm gonna come up here and make sure you click save, all right? This portion does not automatically save. So we've gone back to the editing page and we're going to start building our blog. So you're gonna come over here to pages, click on pages. You're gonna see the word pages right here and you're gonna see the add button, you're gonna click on add scroll down to you see blog page click on blog page and then you're going to click done all right once you click done you're going to come over here to the home page click on the home page come down to the left side to the bottom and click on the delete button a dialog box is going to pop up and ask you are you sure you want to delete this page you're going to click delete and you should only have one page and it's your blog page all right so now we're ready to 
um, be able to work inside our blog, okay? So if you watch the video about what a blog is, it told you on the video that there's on the left hand side, there's a space for you to let your readers know about you. All right. So over here, if you click inside the part where it says author, you'll see a blue box highlighted and you'll see um, editing options there. So if you would just delete the information that's inside this box. And we're going to give your audience a brief snippet or introduction about you, maybe four or five lines. So for example, I want my audience to know that I am um, a daughter, a sister, a mother, and an aunt. I want them to know something about my educational background, so I'm going to let them know what my highest degree is an EDS in instructional technology and I want them to also know that I'm a teacher and I love what I do So I just given them about four or five lines, just letting my audience know a little bit about me. All right, so click outside of that and it stays. All right, so when we prepare to write our blog, you're gonna go down to the left hand corner and you're gonna click new post. And if you scroll down, it gives you a place to type in the title of your blog. And right here, you're going to have to drag an element where you'll be able to type inside this box. So you're gonna go over here to the left, click and drag the text box, and you should see click here to edit. So for example, the title, um, whatever your topic was, say for instance, it was, is college necessary? That was the title or my um, topic that I will be covering. So now I can begin typing my argumentative um, essay about is college necessary. Enter, and the more you type and hit enter, the box will expand. Once I have finished typing, make sure you save it. And it lets you know that it's in draft mode. You have one draft and you haven't published it yet. At the end, once you have made all your revisions, made all the corrections, you're going to click on the button that says draft mode. You're going to click on it. It would allow you to bring it up. And this will allow you to post it. So come over here and make sure you save it if you made any additions save it and then click publish and then once you publish it this is an address where people will find your website online student memoirs click on continue and this lets you know that your website blog has been published if you have any questions please feel free to ask your teacher or myself again I'm Mrs. Brooks I'm in room 8.35 room 8.351 across the hall from the AP's office thank you